Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the Lush Kitchen and what they're going to be making for any of us to buy next week, October 2nd through October 6th. And next week, Lush is going to be making products that we voted for. So last week, Lush had a huge list of products and they told all of us to vote for our favorite ones. And so next week, they're going to be making 10 of the most voted for products. And so on Monday, Lush is going to be making Chameleon Bath Bomb, again, and Twilight Shower Jelly. Now, thank you to Exper because she had offered to send me a Chameleon Bath Bomb because I did not get one and so I am so appreciative to Expert as you know she's really really sweet and thank you so much and I just love Chameleon and I had reviewed an old one a long time ago but it's nice to have a fresh one so thank you Expert so this is Chameleon Bath Bomb Chameleon has a really pretty sort of fresh and pretty citrus scent. So chameleon is made with grapefruit and mandarin orange and a little alang alang floral note. So it smells sort of like fresh floral citrus and he's adorable. Let me open it. Let me open this up. How gorgeous he is. Ah! Oh my God, look at him. <gasps> so look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So he is a shimmery little critter there. And now Chameleon was made uh, by Lush UK only on a limited basis uh, about 10 years ago. And so I have a video that I made a uh, of one from 10 years ago and so I was just dying to uh, to try a new one and so I'll be doing a demo video of this one thanks to Expert. He's so pretty. What a great smell isn't he? Lush did this uh, campaign 10 years ago to save uh, chameleons and their natural habitat was being destroyed. So. That's Chameleon. Chameleon is going to be £3.95, which works out to $5.33 if you're paying in U.S. dollars. Also on Monday, Lush is going to be making a very rare thing called Twilight Shower Jelly. And here's the Twilight Shower Jelly. Now, Lush never sold this to the public. It wasn't sold as a regular item. It wasn't even a limited edition item. They only made it for one day only in the Lush Kitchen, lush.co.uk slash kitchen site for one day only about a year ago. And it sold out in 10 minutes. They only made like two, 300 and they sold out in about five minutes. This is suitable for vegans. This is made in the Twilight Fragrance. Lush makes a bath bomb that they sell in all of their stores called Twilight. It's kind of a lavender colored bath bomb with stars and moons on it and it smells of herby lavender and creamy slightly sweet vanillary tonka bean. So it's both herby and bright but sort of sweet and creamy as well. It's not too sweet. It's very natural smelling, very soothing. It helps you sleep. And Lush has made many things with the Twilight fragrance. Uh, it started with the Twilight bath bomb, like I say, which they still, still sell in the stores. Lush made this after the uh, movie Twilight uh, many years ago. Shower jelly is an alternative to soap. And uh, I have many videos here on my YouTube channel and many videos and demos uh, on my blog of all of the Lush shower jellies and I demo them close up and show you the many different ways that you can use them and it's a gorgeous sort of purpley blue sparkly iridescent blue I would rate Twilight shower jelly a 5 out of 5 rating 
Lush is going to be selling these and they're these 240 gram size uh, pots here. Twilight Shower Jelly is going to be £8.25, which works out to $11.13. On Tuesday, Lush is going to be making their Mellow Mint Bubble Bar. And I don't have one with me, but here's a picture I took of mine. Mellow Mint Bubble Bar looks like a watermelon, but it doesn't have a watermelon fragrance. It has a mint fragrance. And it's so cute. It's this bright red pink in the middle with a green rind like a watermelon and it even has black seeds to look like watermelon seeds. And it's not a sweet bubble bar scent at all. It's strictly mint and I mean bright, bright mint. It also has cypress in it as well. So it's sort of like a green mint, a bracing mint and it makes a really pretty uh, coral colored water with lots of bubbles. I would rate Mellow Mint a 5 out of 5 rating. Mellow Mint is going to be £3.95 which works out to $5.33. Also on Tuesday, Lush is going to be making another very rare thing, this time Rose Jam Shower Jelly. So. Here is the Rose Jam Shower Jelly. Now Rose Jam is a very popular uh, fragrance that Lush has made many products uh, from. For instance, Rose Argan Body Conditioner that they sell in all of the Lush stores. That was the first product that they made in that fragrance, I believe. And the Rose Bubble Rune, and they make a gourmet rose soap, and a regular Rose Jam soap, and they made so many different things with this. I have a scent family portrait of all the Rose Jam products on my Lush Encyclopedia blog. This is made with rose oil and rose absolute and Egyptian geranium oil. This also has vanilla infusion, cypress leaf infusion, Sicilian lemon oil, and goji berry juice. And so it's not like an old lady kind of a rose fragrance. It's more like a like a sweet rose fragrance. And so that's Rose Jam Shower Jelly. And it's a beautiful, beautiful red color. So I chop mine into cubes. Uh, I have a demo video and review of this shower jelly that I'll leave a link uh, at the end of this video so you can check that out. And I show you how I cut this up into cubes and how I use the shower jellies. Just as rare as the Twilight Jelly, Lush Kitchen actually made the Twilight Shower Jelly and the Rose Jam Shower Jelly and one other shower jelly I'm going to show you in a minute, all on the same day, that one day a year ago. So that's Rose Jam Shower Jelly. I would rate Rose Jam Shower Jelly a definite 5 out of 5 rating. It doesn't have sparkle like the Twilight does, but it's a gorgeous red color. Rose Jam Shower Jelly is going to be £7.95, which works out to $10.73. On Wednesday, Lush is going to be making their Autumn Leaf Bath Bomb and Honey I Wash the Kids Shower Jelly. So here is an Autumn Leaf Bath Bomb, and I had a uh, planned on giving this away uh, in a giveaway so it's all wrapped up in some padded wrapping and I didn't want to unwrap it again but uh, here are some photos that I took of my autumn leaf and posted on Instagram so this gives you an idea of what it looks like when it's in the tub It makes such beautiful sort of autumn colors of orange and red and yellow and green. Autumn leaf is made with sandalwood and bergamot and neroli and also it's made with maple sap and so it looks like a giant maple leaf and for those of you who enjoy the lush grass shower gel it was discontinued a couple of years ago. 
Lush also makes a current bubble bar in their stores called the Grass Bubble Bar. It's real pretty green. Well, the autumn leaf bath bomb was made in that scent. So it's really a pretty show in the bathtub. This is a very slow fizzer and it makes the water a really pretty sort of golden color. Here's a picture I took of the grass scent family of products. The grass bath bomb is going to be £3.45, which works out to $4.66. Also on Wednesday is going to be Honey, I Wash the Kids Shower Jelly. <laughs> oh. These are fainting products, okay? Fainting products. Honey, I Wash the Kids is another really popular uh, lush product fragrance that they've used in many delicious, yummy looking, um, soothing, yummy bath products. And uh, Honey, I Wash the Kids soap was the very first product that they used to sell even before they were called Lush. And they still sell it today in their stores, Honey, I Wash the Kids soap. It smells like toffee, basically. It smells like like, like toffee that you would eat, it's yummy. It's actually made with bergamot and orange oil and other things. So Lush, just like Twilight and Rose Jam shower jellies, Lush has never made these for the public. They've never even, they've never made them even as a limited edition. They only created them and made them exclusively for the Lush kitchen at lush.co.uk slash kitchen and only for one day and like I say they sold out in five minutes so that's how rare these are so if you like to collect rare things then these jellies are definitely something that you would want to buy now now the honey I wash the kids shower jelly has rosehip infusion tiger lily infusion and honey and then orange oil and bergamot it's not vegan because of the honey so and again, um, it leaves you feeling soft and smooth. It's a little bit more moisturizing than the Twilight and Rose Jam shower gels, strictly because of the honey that's in here. And this is what it looks like. It's sort of a uh, sort of a vanilla color. And, uh, and when the Lush made these jellies, they make them so strong like you guys are going to absolutely freak out at how strong and wonderful these three fragrances are in the jelly oh my goodness you can use them as as bubble bath you know you can use these as bubble bath I've washed my hair with them I use them as soap at the sink when I slice them into slices I use them in the shower as a soap I mean like they're just great. And of course, Honey, I Wash the Kids, I would rate a five out of five rating. Honey, I Wash the Kids jelly is going to be seven pounds 95, which works out to $10.73. Rose Jam and Honey, I Wash the Kids shower jellies are seven, are both seven pounds 95, but the Twilight shower jelly is eight pounds 25. And then on Thursday, Lush is going to be making their Geo Fizz bath bomb and their Yoga Bomb bath bomb. Oh my God. So Geofizz bath bomb is a retro bath bomb. It's made with big chunks of salt. It's kind of like a spa kind of a bath bomb because the big chunks of salt actually make your skin soft. And the scent of Geofizz is sort of like greenery and very sort of spa-like, uh, refreshing. And this bath bomb is different in that it doesn't really foam and color the tub or anything, and it doesn't really fizz fast like some of them. It just sort of sits there. It does have uh, some minerals and good things for your skin in it and it makes the water very soft. So uh, Geofizz, so that's Geofizz bath bomb. I would rate Geofizz a three out of five rating. Here's a picture I took of my Geofizz. Geofizz is gonna be four pounds 50, which works out to $6.07. Also on Thursday, Lush is going to be remaking Yoga Bomb. Oh my God. Yoga Bomb, for those of you who don't know, Yoga Bomb was a freakishly popular <laughs> bath bomb that Lush sold for only about a year. 
Um, or maybe more than that. And then they discontinued it right away. Nobody knows why they discontinued it right away. I'm thinking it's a sourcing uh, ingredients sourcing issue. Yoga Balm is made with whole wood and sandalwood and frankincense. So it has a lovely woody but airy and resinous uh, sort of light and papery woody but with a tiny almost a citrus edge to it so gorgeous and so sort of calming and meditative this yoga bomb and the colors that this yoga bomb makes are another thing that people love about it it makes a rainbow of colors purple being one of them so it makes gorgeous bath art it makes some of the most gorgeous bath art and so yoga bomb is a, a regular sized bomb it's a slow fizzer and it does have glitter in it and i have a demo of i have a demo video and review of yoga bomb here on my youtube channel so i'll leave a link to that below so if you want to take a look at that here are some photos that i took of my yoga bomb I would rate the Yoga Bomb a 5 out of 5 rating. Yoga Bomb is going to be £3.95, which works out to $5.33. And on Friday, Lush is going to be making Karma Shower Gel for us and Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. These all are so popular. I mean, of course they are. We voted for them, right? So Lush is going to be making on Friday Karma Shower Gel. It looks like this. It's going to be made in the medium size, 250 gram size. It's a gorgeous orange red color, like most of the Karma products are. And Karma is a signature Lush fragrance that they've been selling for about 20 years. And it's made with orange oil and lemongrass and patchouli and pine. So it's not sweet. It's very strongly scented. Guys would like Karma. It smells like pine and oranges with a little bit of a hippie, incensey edge to it. So it's a bold fragrance. Uh, it's very strong, very strong of orange and patchouli, I would say, are the strongest notes in here. Really nice. And the thing about Karma that everyone loves about it, uh, you have to like the Karma fragrance, but the thing about it is it just, it, it has a lot of throw and also the scent tends to stay uh, nicely and stay long on your skin after you take a bath with any of the Karma products, which is nice because you get a lot of bang for your buck that way. And it's a nice thick shower gel too. It's one of the thicker, less shower gels. So that's Karma Shower Gel. If you like earthy, hippie-ish, resinous, uh, incense scents, then you would like Karma. Lush is gonna be selling this for 11 pounds 25, which works out to $15.18. I would rate Karma Shower Gel a five out of five rating. And then also on Friday, Lush is gonna be making Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar, the unicorn horn <laughs> and here's one of mine I have it wrapped up in plastic because they tend to um, when I keep them in my drawer they tend to break if I don't sort of wrap them in plastic but you can see how gorgeous these things are here's a picture I took of three of my unicorn horn bubble bars uh, together And you can see it's a gorgeous pastel rainbow of colors and it's got glitter in there as well. I have a demo video of the unicorn horn bubble bar in the tub so you can see what it looks like in the tub and, and what the water looks like. And I'll put the uh, link to that at the end of this video. Unicorn horn is made with lavender, neroli, and lang lang. So, it's got mostly an herbal lavender fragrance. So it's a bright, herby pop of scent. And it's got a little bit of a, a Lang Lang floral note as well. That's Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. 
everyone loves the unicorn horn bubble bar. I mean, there's nothing not to love about it. And it's not a real girly scent either. So guys, if you're afraid to try this because it smells like, you know, candy or smells like a bunch of flowers, it doesn't. It smells really natural and nice. I would rate the Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar a 5 out of 5 rating. Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar is going to be £3.25, which works out to $4.39. So it's a very economical bubble bar, $4.39. So those are the products that the Lush Kitchen are going to be making for any of us to buy next week, October 2nd through October 6th. If you have any questions about any of these products, go ahead and comment down below and I'll answer as soon as I can or I can point you in the right direction to someone who can give you an answer. And as always, thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you very soon on my next Lush video. Bye-bye.